Karen is the hardest working person on the staff, uh, completely dedicated. Nobody, uh, nobody works harder than she does. She cares so much about the news section. She's elevated to a completely new level. I always tell her, you know, you do such a better job than I did when I was a news editor. She's a very caring, compassionate person. I remember one time when I was at my grandmother's house and my grandma and I were stuck somewhere because we had a car accident. Um, Karen offered to drive me home and she was like 40 minutes away, so she was totally going to go out of her way. The best instance, the, the most tragic, but the best instance would be earlier this month uh, with the, um, the death of Kelly Jones. Um, that was something that happened Saturday night. We found out about it Sunday afternoon and she was first to, to investigate, turn around a story, make it readable, uh, all within a span of eight hours maybe. And uh, she did fantastic coverage, I think, rivaled the Herald or anyone else in their coverage. I think the first time that I actually approached Karen about writing something about news was a story about Hurricane Ross and Hurricane Bungra, which are two of the um, Indian dance teams on campus. I sent it to Karen, and Karen sent it back, and it looked completely red. And the amazing part about all of that was Karen actually took the time to show me what I had done wrong. Uh, working for the paper, we have these staff meetings every Sunday morning that we have to be at at 10.30. And being the typical college student, um, a couple of us editors, I'm sure, not to mention any specific names or not, you know, including myself, have shown up to meetings on Sunday, a little hungover. So Karen has taken the liberty every Sunday to bake us some kind of goods um, when we come in for deadline and I remember this one time I went out and had a really late night and I came in and there she was at 10.30 in the morning with baked goods and Karen has done this on several occasions. Karen is like my little shot of vodka. <laughs> if something is wrong in the office I can go to her and she will ease me up a little bit, you know, help me relax. And so it's been a blessing to have her there to help me get through it because at times, as she knows, it can be very stressful at the paper. She's just really always upbeat. Like, she comes in the office, she's always smiling. Like, I see her, we both live um, near each other, and whenever I see her, she's always really friendly and just kind of says, hey, what's up? And she's just really a really positive person to be around.